Our Verlena Jones joins us now with the immediate action that Madison's mayor is taking to prevent further gun violence. Verlena? Well, Susan, Mayor Paul Soglin is offering money for those who report others who possess guns that are used in a crime. This is different from a typical gun buyback program where typically guns that no longer work are turned in. The goal is to encourage people in their neighborhoods where crimes are committed to speak up and help put a stop to the violence. They are destroying the fabric of our community. With gun violence more than doubling over the past year, Mayor Paul Soglin says the time to act is now. We will not accept violence. We will not accept the presence of individuals who shoot guns at other people. To uncover hidden guns, the mayor is offering a $1,000 reward per gun recovered to anyone who reports one being used in a crime or identifies a firearm being possessed illegally. And there's a responsibility on the part of every person who knows somebody, who's fired into a home, who is fired into a vehicle who has shot another person to come forward. According to Madison Police this year, they've responded to more than 100 reports of gunfire, a 79% increase compared to the same time last year with 54 reports. Alder Paul Skidmore supports the mayor's plan. The people that participate in crimes of opportunity, they're going to move forward. They're not going to wait and, and wait to see what we're going to do and then find something different. They're going to keep doing it until they can't do it. City leaders are also looking into a potential gun bounty program. Mayor Soglin says those plans and still need more research, but this new policy will give the community the power to act now. Neighborhoods that are strong and vital are the neighborhoods where there are residents who speak up, set community standards, and fight for them. Now, the funds will come directly from the mayor's budget. Those who report the guns can remain anonymous. The plan will go into effect immediately. Melina, what has some of the reaction been to this? What are neighborhood community groups saying about it? Well, Susan, Focus Interruption Coalition, a group in town whose goal is to reduce crime in the area by working with community members, say they don't have enough information just yet to give their support of the program, but they're looking forward to learning more. As are we. Valina Jones, live in the newsroom tonight. Valina, thank you.